What's up, everybody? It's Sister Citizen here. I, I apologize for that long beginning. I love that song, but my favorite part of the song is like the last like 30 seconds. Oh my God, it hits a little, little boom, boom. Oh, I love that part. It gets me so hype. <laughs> So I, I love that freaking song. I don't know why it tickles me. It tickles me. So I apologize for making you guys sit through that whole song. But like the very last like 30 seconds is banging, you guys. It's banging. I gotta hear it. It gets me hype. Listen how hype I am. Listen how hype. Okay, maybe it's the coffee. Thank you everybody for being here. Duckfoot, my man. My fellow hell diver. Oh my god. Fam, me and Duckfoot have been knee deep in bug juice for like since the stream fam oh my god you know how like it's i don't know if anybody plays hell divers how it says like you go to civilian life like after you're done with the game i feel like starfield is my civilian life <laughs> i was like thank god i get to play starfield today so i can relax my bones god dang holy crap duckfoot you're the man fam thank you so much for i drug him around like for the past few days just so i could learn the game you know because if you're a content creator you gotta learn how to get you know good at games so people don't want to watch you screw around and be bad and a noob and you know an idiot so I, I'm, I'm trying to get good at it because if you don't know uh, I want to play with you guys on my other channel is a GTA channel so I get the opportunity to play with my viewers but Starfield's not multiplayer and I love games that are co-op you guys know I talk about Warframe all the time so I feel like Helldivers is like good enough like it matches enough with the vibe on this channel and uh, and I could play with you guys if those of you guys who play that too that we could play on a team I think it'd be fun so but Shamal thank you for being here fam let me give you a kiss on the forehead Shamal thank you for being here and watching over the chat uh Spinny thank you for being a member and again Duckfoot goes without saying thank you for being a boss main and uh supporting the channel and like helping me fam like I can't tell you how helpful that is. So thank you so much for that, for hanging out with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the Pirate House, fam. So we've been doing, in my streams, we've been building cities, and which I'm in right now. I love it. I love it. Man, I feel like I'm relaxing today. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I love these two games together. I hope you guys will, like, get into this, like, with the both of us. You know what I mean? With the both of us. Wait, what? What am I selling here? Spending no, I mean like both games because I feel like it's a good yin and yang for everybody. Uh, look at that. Hey, Spinny, thank you so much for that, fam. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I don't know why I didn't bing and bing bing. bing. I must have done something wrong. The guy's supposed to be like, Spinny time super chatted five pounds. Go, sis. I'll read it out. I guess I'll be the guy today. I must have screwed it up. Uh, I had to set up a new like stream thing for my for the other stream, so it's all wonky. But I'll be the guy. I'll be the guy today. Spinny time, super shattered, five pounds. Go, sis. I don't know. That's what the guy sounds. Anyway, thank you, Spinny. Big, big hug and a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Me want dancing cat back. You know what? I, you guys want me to bring the dancing cat back? all right i'll bring it back i'll bring it back how about next stream we'll bring back uh we'll bring saucy kitty back i'm sorry spinny i was trying to mix it up but i feel like you guys missed the missed the uh missed the dancing cat okay enough talk all right let me let me get out of let me get out of my home here like i said i have thoroughly moved in to defalco's place he's not needing it anymore people he's he's not needing it anymore all right here let me get back used to the buttons I always tell you guys, playing a uh, video game, like if you're good at it, like the controller is like an instrument. Like I'm getting filled. Oh, wait. God dang it. I always do that. Shit. We're doing Starborn stuff too. Why, why, am I, why am I carrying this? This is garbage. This is garbage. All right, we're doing Starborn stuff today, people. I always forget. Did I take damage? Damn. I always forget. All right, it's not a beautiful day. Okay, so, okay, so we've been doing a lot of stuff, right? Like building cities and getting companions and what else we've been doing? Looting, 
we did some uh, Rangers missions last stream, but we haven't been doing Starborn stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a star god during the weekdays. On the weekends, we're hell diving. By the way, oh, did I finish my thought? You guys might get excited talking to you guys. Sundays, if you play Helldivers, come out and play with us. Come hell dive with us. Because I want to be able to play with you guys. I feel like space viewers are like... Because uh, my other channel is GTA. Just a different type of vibe, you know? Like when I go over there, I just want to like just rage and just... Okay, I don't really do that over there. Let's be real. But you know what I mean? Like the dark side. I go over there and do dark stuff. But over here, I feel like it's about space... It's about teamwork, it's about discovery, it's about, uh, did I say space? I said that already. All right, we're going to do some stuff. I'm going to use my powers because I haven't used them really. Some of them, I don't even know what they do, okay? All right, let's look at them here. We, I, I've never used parallel self. Look at this, another me. Uh, look at it, it's at, uh, okay, you guys know I'm terrible with Roman numerals. Four, five, six, seven, I don't know. I gotta max these out too. Inner demon, where we could raise stuff from the dead. Haven't used it. Why, why, why? Okay, I didn't like moon form because that, I think it's like, it like makes you like a shell, but you can't move. You're like indefensible, but you can't move. Gravity wave. What? Why haven't I used this? Maybe we'll do a, a temple or two. You guys know I can get her done fast. I can skitter her done fast. And, uh, okay, we've done that. Life force we've used. Elemental pool, solar flares. I think they buffed this. Earthbound, so we can see our, uh, if we're floating in space, we give ourselves gravity. Okay, I've used that. Reactive shield, look at this. Why haven't I used this? We need to go, and it's only level two. How pitiful. How pitiful and i'm ng 11 shame on me shame on me shame on me we need to do some temples i know it's not fun to do temples but i, I can skitter down quick spinny says boy kasha shamo happy wednesday fam thank you so much for being here today all right that's what we're doing people let's head to the ship let's head to the ship got business happening over there you guys know about my city you got business happening as long as i see those ships when I come out of uh, the big house, what do I call it, the big house? That sounds so, I don't know, so 18, 1810. When I come out of the mansion, I'm just gonna call it the mansion. My lair, when I come out of the, uh, my lair, that's what I call it. When I come out of my lair, it's nice to see business happening across the water there. There you go, see that, look at that, business. Business, business. Making money, all I gotta do is go Steal the booty. <laughs> Giggity. That's <laughs> business happening over there, people. Oh. Damn, check this out. Let me see where she is. Okay, I, let me get out of this noise. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to call that noise. I'm going to call that the sound of business. The sound of business. Okay, I found a follower. I'm sure some of you guys have, fo have found her too. I've never heard of this follower. I'm, okay, I found out, I found out a few things. You guys know, like, telling me all the stuff I found out in betweenst, in betweenst. Okay, is the sound of business? Okay, here, really quickly before the sound of business comes in. Okay, I found this follower. Her name is Kepler, right? I enlisted in list, by the way. When I started the game, I kept having the, you know, you keep getting those people like, have you enrolled in list? And you're like, what the? Can you see I'm in? Dang, you know, what? Who? Right? I enlisted in list. And I was wondering, like, okay, the persuasion skills are all right. You know what I'm saying? They're all right. Like, when am I going to use this? I get all these starborn people. Here, let's get out of the sound of business. You can always, like, starborn power people, like, I'm starborn, do what I say. Right? You can always do that to people. But when you join list, that's like the colony people. I've been like researching this, right? These people, they're out in space. They're like, have you enlisted? So basically, they're agents. I, I signed up to be an agent. I'm a space agent, okay? What What is going on here? I'm a space agent. So you, can you hear the sound of business inside the ship? What a business going on? I mean, I love business, but here, let's go in here. I'm gonna turn down the game too. What up, people? We're doing, we're doing the, uh, 
We're gonna be using our starborn powers today. I'm good, I'm good, fam. All right, not so much business going on back here. Okay, so I found this new follower in Sidonia. By the way, I've been loving Sidonia. I found like all of my outpost engineer people in Sidonia. That's where you can find them. There's like three or four of them there. The guy that's sitting in the bar there with all the papers and stuff, I finally talked to him. I should have caught that on. We should have did that on the stream, but I was just trying to, you know, play ahead, see what's what. So you sign up to be like a like an insurance agent, but not really insurance. Like you're selling the stars, like places for people who are settling. You go out, you pre-scan, look for spots, you know, spots with water that can support life, things like that. And then you go into bars. Okay, not bars, but you know, the public places where all the NPCs are talking, right? You sign up for to be a list agent and you go out, you scan worlds, give the data back to this guy. And then I guess he sells this land to uh, people looking for places to live that like fit them perfectly. Right. So anyway, what you're supposed to do is go into places where you like hear a bunch of NPCs talking, you know, which they do everywhere you go. But you're supposed to listen for, for specific conversations like people are like, man, I really want to get out of this place. I got all this money in my pocket, but nowhere to spend it. And I'm just tired of living here. And then that's when you're like, hey, there, Jane Space Lady, you want to get out of here? I know a place. Why don't you sign up for list? Here's a brochure. Fam, I even got brochures. I can hand out brochures. Wait, where are they? Where are they? Brochures. Tourist brochures. They're probably under L. See, I'm already a, te a terrible agent. Here we go. All right, I'm a recruiter, okay? I gotta sell land, people. The League of Independent Settlers, that's what it is. I knew that's what it meant. I was just testing you guys. Oh, wait, what's Spinny saying? Shamel says, no problem. Thank you, Shamel. Uh, Spinny says, Strix system, planet one, big XP on floaty, swarming, weird, flying things. We'll go check it out, Spinny. <laughs> we'll go check out the Spinny floaty flying things okay look here's a brochure okay right we're selling land people in far off distant places okay but not like fully today anyway anyway i just want to share with you guys i'm an agent now official i don't have a uniform or a badge or anything but they've made me an official agent anyway while i was in there there's a lady sitting you know what i'm gonna do let's go back Okay, we are gonna use starborn powers today, but I feel like I gotta catch up on a lot with you guys. Okay, here, let me quick save that. Let me see if I have a save, because I always like to see what let's, let's let's try this one. Let's try this one. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, let's go there and I'll show you this lady. I don't know if we run into her. I didn't even notice her until I was looking for engineers for my outpost. And uh, if not, I'll switch to my other save. It, it might be my other save. But you gotta see this. I never saw her. And then I was like, oh, who's this lady? Because I was like, you're hired. You're hired. You get a job. You get a job. You get a job. I'm like, hey, lady, you need a job? And uh, she started talking to me. I'm like, wait a minute. This is no ordinary NPC. So let's go back and let's see. I don't know if you've, if you, if you've seen her or not, but her last name is Kepler, which is really interesting, right? Cause that's, that's, let me see if she's in my list. If, if, if she's, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, there she is, Andromeda Kepler. I am so, I haven't talked to her yet. I'm so fascinated. And she's got two stars in Outpost Engineering and a star, a, 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 a spec, status spec, I don't know what you call it, and piloting and aneurotic, and you went in the tronic okay i can't even pronounce it this person is important okay but let me go back on another save because i want you to see her here 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 here, here. let me load something else here we'll go back to my vanguard i don't think i talked to her yet let's go there and talk to her have you seen have you, do, do you know who this person is anybody in the chat if not go 
go go here to Sidonia and pick her up. In fact, I haven't had a chance to really like dive into her dialogue. Maybe we'll do it right. You know, we'll do it now while we uh, go do Starborn stuff. We'll leave her on the ship and then we'll come back and, uh, you know, talk to her. Her dialogue was very interesting. Hey, hey come on. Come, come on, Bethesda. All right, let's talk a little bit about Starfield, though. Speaking of Bethesda, our last update was like March 5th, 14th, 5th, 14th. And uh, so they said they were going to try to update the game or patch or fix or whatever they were going to do every six weeks. So I feel like we're almost... Who's following me now? Hey, Marika. She's awesome too, fam. Uh, get Marika. You can get her pretty early on in game. At the viewpoint, I think it is. She's awesome. Uh, don't mess around with anybody else in that bar. Marika's a badass. Sometimes it's nice to have like a pleasant follower. And she's always like gung ho. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go. Let's go see. Oh, wait. Let me just. I can just look in my. In my crew roster to see if she's there. And then we'll go talk. Okay. She's not she's not here. Let me, okay, no, she's not here. She's not Let me look again. You know. So okay, no, we don't have her yet. Okay, let's go get her. So you guys will know where she is and all that. Let's go to Sidonia. And um where are we? Okay. This is this must have been when I was setting up my vitium vit 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 vitium vit vit, vit, vit my uh, factory I probably had just set it up okay here all right let's go to Mars and let's go to Sidonia and I'll show you where she is and I'll also show you where you can get all of these outpost engineers uh where I found all of my all of my people at speak with Trevor oh and maybe we'll I'll show you the the list guy we won't go through the initiation yeah, you gotta do that yourself you know what I'm saying wait did I land in the right spot I was too busy talking hey what's up Atlas she is she was in our list marika it must be exhausting to work in the mines all day no kepler was she in my list let me see yeah, eric jessamine lynn hadrian Nikki, Otero, Omar, Sam, Morgan. No, she's not here. I don't have Kepler in this one, in this safe. Or maybe, maybe there's a lag. Okay, here, let's go. Let's go. I'll show you where she is. You gotta go into Sidonia and grab her. And 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 in fact, I was in such a rush to grab a bunch of outpost people that I could have talked to her more while we were in here. I was just trying to grab everybody. I was like, what? I'll talk to her later. Not much Atlas. I'm good. I'm good. Crew, le crew list is in alphabetical. No, I don't think I have her yet. We'll see when we get in here. All right, let's go. Let's go check her out. Yeah, because I don't have any of the, the uh, outpost hey, management people. I already grabbed uh, a tarot out of here. People always ask me what I think about okay, women. wait. It rocks. Okay, where is she? Okay, yeah, okay, so if you're looking for outpost engineers, like people for your outpost, all, oh, I got this guy, he's good. Th these are all outpost people. If you're hired, you can really use the work. Oh wait, no, not him, not him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab him anyway, cause I need to fill up my yes. outpost. Yes. Uh, EM weapon specialist, ballistic, I'm telling you, there's I'll outpost people. Something. Payload, mm -hmm. extra dynamics. There were a bunch of outpost people in here, I swear, I swear. Well, if you want your EM weapon people, they're definitely in here. Okay, where is she, though? Howdy. Hello. There's an outpost engineering specialist. Another long day. Okay, she was sitting right here with, with the homie, like right here. And this is the list guy here that she... Oh, here she is, here she is. Okay, let's talk to her, fam. Can we turn the music down? I don't know if you guys have found her. Let's talk to her real quick. We're gonna grab her like right now and have her follow us. Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? 
You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it Scholar's Intuition. All right, all right, so this is this Kepler chick. Hey, what's up, Mark? Hey, Spooky! <laughs> Otherwise known as spooky. What's up, fam? Are you rested up from Sunday? Me and Duckfa have been playing uh, Hell Divers like crazy. You guys join us on Sunday, please, 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 everybody. I might even add an extra day. I don't know. I'm in love with the game. I'm in love with the game. I feel like Starfield's my civilian life. I love. I, d guys, don't worry. By the way, if you see me playing Hell Divers, don't freak out. You know, I love space games and I love Starfield. Starfield is going nowhere. So, but I want to play with you guys. And I feel like uh, Helldivers is a good, fun space game for us to go do some teamwork stuff. So, but it's good to see you. Hey, what's up, local? It's absolutely insane that we don't have the creation kit nearly eight months later. Well, Bethesda said it was going to be the first part of the year. And we're kind of getting towards the middle ish part. So, that's why I'm wondering if uh, you know why did you see that bear appear like that it was dope fam can i help you sir anyway i'm thinking that we're going to get the creation kit soon eventually i'm hoping uh somebody said that some module was loaded up onto steam i don't know i don't know anything about that you know like into the technical stuff but man i hope so uh, i was talking to somebody in the comment section the other day and um about the nexus mods that are already available here we can turn the music up a little bit while we're talking she can hang out for a second she's hanging out in the bar anyway right she's thinking about the stars look at her dreaming about space there's some fascinating stories in there. I kn I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Anyway, we were we were talking about like some of the mods that are available right now without the creation kit, and some of them are really really good. Really good. That's why I have very like I I just I I've I've loaded up some of the mods and somebody was asking me in the comment section like where do you get them and I get them on Nexus mods if if you're modding for the first time you like if you're on PC and Starfield it it has inspired you to kind of learn or how to do mods uh, and you want to go to the Nexus and just you know see what mods are available I would just put up I would put up the Nexus and show you guys like live but <laughs> sometimes the Nexus has some questionable ads. <laughs> And some of the mods like are flat out just naked, naked ass pictures. So I can't, I can't like go there. But if you go there, and yes, there are naked mods of Andresia already, fam, already, right before the creation kit. So for those of you out there wondering, <laughs> some of you're like, what? I wasn't, I wasn't wondering that. No, I wasn't, I wasn't wondering that. Yes, you were. Uh, anyway, they've got mods that are out there already, but if you're into I'm almost thinking about maybe even showing you how but unfortunately my PC is not strong enough to run Starfield with mods and record or stream at the same time which is sad damn it I wish I would make videos on the mods because they're so awesome but I can I can play with mods and get 60 FPS just you know on my own I can't show anybody what I'm doing unfortunately my PC can't handle it but I've downloaded some of these mods and man some of them are good like like game changing mods that are so good and I know once they're available on the like with the creation kit and people can get them on console uh it's just gonna change every, i mean game change, menu stuff uh loading screen stuff um uh credit vendor credit problems just everything fixed uh, uh your interfaces fit like people have done this all ready and I, I loaded up my game full of mods and it was a whole other it was a, it was a whole other experience so you know, I know, I know a lot of people are, like they say, oh, the story's bad. Who plays Bethesda games for the story? Nobody does. People who are saying, oh, the story's just, the story's not good. I mean, it's just, nobody plays Bethesda games for the stories. Come on, you go through, that's why they made the game so that you could NG plus without even having to go through the story again, because Bethesda knows people don't play their games for the stories. Uh, I mean, it does help if the story is good. And I'm sure with uh, 
We're no the as hell in Sidonia. I'm sure with the uh, with the DLCs, you know, it's gonna add more depth to the lore and you know, layer upon layer, just like Skyrim did. Like, settle down, people, relax. But anyway, if you're gonna go get mods, first thing uh, you want to do is don't pick the mods that are on the first page. Okay, the first page is just gonna show you like the recent stuff, and mostly it's just people who are kind of new to mods that don't really have a reputation. Don't ever download a mod on the first page when you load into the Nexus. None of them are. Look for the endorsements. Okay, let me give you some advice here. Let me give you some modding advice because for those of you who know, I love to mod my games. I just can't run Starfield and make videos or stream it because my pc has got a couple of hamsters in there running around in a plastic ball uh I, I can't run my software it's 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 kind of a drag but anyway when you go to the next let me give you some tips from like i've been modding bethesda games for a very long time fallout skyrim like I got hella hours in Skyrim and Fallout, all modded, and I think I've played through. Like I said, I think I've played through the Fallout full Fallout story, like to the very, very end. And you know what I'm talking about? If you play Fallout once, w one time maybe. No, yeah, one time, not never twice, never twice. I was like, okay, now I know what's going on. Now let me get back to what I was doing. <laughs> That's usually the vibe for Bethesda games. I don't know why everybody thinks the story is supposed to carry the game. That's not the point. It just gives you something to do in the in-betweens. Anyway, let me give you some quick tips. Don't download anything that loads on the very first page of the what's hot or new this week. Don't download any of that, okay? Don't touch any of that stuff. What you want to do is you want to go to categories and whatever you're looking for let's say you want new armor like you want your you want to see what like people have changed the starborn armors to look like and by the way they are awesome okay <laughs> they're freaking amazing uh the way that people have like just without the creation kit changed the armor and everything but go to a category and then you you look for most endorsed or most downloaded it's basically like a rating system right and usually the mods that are good that people you know they download they work okay usually the bigger mods with the bigger endorsements and downloads um take into account other mods that people might be using so that they don't conflict with each other right so go to a category you know or just go to the regular mods go to that first page and hit most downloaded or most endorsed and i would say probably the first two or three pages of mods that you'll find are safe to put into your game and are, 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 are pretty good and like i said if you want a category make sure to, to pick that endorsed and downloaded uh, so that those are my tips and always 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 read the posts um, because before I download any mod that's the first thing here's my process I go to the page usually I just link it from my um, vortex which is my mod manager but that I don't want to confuse you when you go to the home page right the first thing I do is go to the category or I immediately go to the filter and click most endorse and that's where you'll see the best mods there and then I'll, you know, go to that page, go to the mod, and then I always check the requirements because usually they'll say, okay, you have to have this mod to make this mod work, or you need to have that mod to make this mod work. So you got to make sure you got that mod first before you download the one that you want, right? Because sometimes these are just functional mods that does backend stuff. Uh, and then I go to the posts make sure I have what I need to make the mod work, and then I go to the posts. And usually you can tell by what people are saying like if it's good if there's problems if there's bugs uh if the mod author is actually answering questions things like that and if all is on the up and up like if people are like this is awesome mod or ah, it'd be great if you add this like if you see people in a, in a comment section saying it'd be great if you add this that means the mod is hype then i download the mod so that's my modders advice for beginners that's what i would do don't download anything when you first get to the page and be like oh these are the mods let me download this it only has like 100 downloads and two thumbs up don't ever do that <laughs> don't ever 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 do that don't ever do that um uh, but there are some mods right now that are just still awesome that just just functionally 
as far as like how menus work, how weight works. Um, there's even a mod that gets rid of all of the junk in the game. Like if you hate junk in the game, there's a mod that gets rid of all of it or just specific stuff that you want. Like if I only want to find uranium, I could get rid of everything else in the game. So I know that the only thing I'm ever going to find is uranium. So I never have to look through garbage again, uh, which I think is going to change the gameplay for a lot of people. So anyway, let's not take a bit more of Miss Kepler's time, but um, that's just my little modding advice. So uh, and the reason that they're, you know, see, that's the difference between like paid mods and on console and PC mods with PC mods are basically free because you don't really have to deal with all of the vetting and looking at the post and dealing with your files yourself and making sure, you know, this file is perfectly placed in the right folder so that when you run the game, you know, it doesn't cook. Like, you don't have to do all of that on PC, which is why the mods are free because you're doing all that work yourself. If you're playing on console, basically, uh, you don't have to mess with your files. You don't have to, you know, you can't get to your console files. So you don't have to deal with any of that. You can still look at the comments and things like that. And of course, mods still break, but uh, console is basically just, you don't have to mess with all your files and doing all that. Like you can just download it or whatever but still read the posts like still read what people are saying about the about the mod and of course there probably won't be as many adult mods <laughs> like you're probably not going to get a whole lot of naked andresia mods <laughs> unfortunately for those of you who are like oh man a naked andresia mod with the booty and it and they got the mod to make it look wet <laughs> you're probably not going to get those mods on xbox uh so that's that's a bummer for you so those those mods are usually reserved for uh for pc although you'll see them you know if you go on pc and look at the nexus website they'll be there but they're they're not for you they're not gonna be for you fam they're not gonna be for you okay here let's talk to her we've taken up enough of this uh, lady's time she's thinking about space no she's fine she's fine <laughs> Okay, here, I'm gonna, hey, what's up, Louise? Here, let me see if anybody's popped in. We'll talk to her for a minute and then I'll get caught up in the chat. Okay, here, let's, let's not take up any more of our time. We're trying to get up a little bit. All right, here, sure, let's talk. Meeting a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? Uh, may I ask you the uh, same question, Miss Kepler? You may. I just finished a circuit of the soul system. Okay. I've been studying Galileo lately, and I wanted to pay tribute to the planets that inspired him. All right. Well, I'm just, uh, well, I'm looking for people to join my crew. Oh, you're a captain. Yes. I'm a traveler myself. I've spent years in the space lanes conducting research for a book I intend to write. I envy you the company of others on your voyages through the star field. I hope the blackest sea has been kind to you and your crew. Look at this lady. Not only is she very polite, but she seems like a... She seems like uh, she'd be cool to take out into the stars, right? All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's, let's ask her, what type of book are you writing, fam? I don't know if we should discuss it here. I kind of feel like we should go... Okay, just tell us. What kind of book are you writing? It's going to be a philosophical text about my theories on the intersection between science and the divine. I've been studying that relationship for years, and I want to preserve my findings for future scholars. What? Sanctum Universum. I get the feeling she's going to write a book about us. How about you want a bat? You know, but that's got something in plan for us, right? She's no ordinary follower. Look at this. Two and outpost engineering. You know she's going in my city somewhere, right? She can go along on the ship for adventures, probably charting our courses. How much you want to bet she's writing a book about us? Does anybody know? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, what is aneuritic fusion? A neutron? I don't know. I want it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh... If you're looking for company, I'd be happy to bring you along with me. Okay, see, this seems like a different dialogue than I'm looking for people to join my crew. Are you feeling me on this? I'm going to write a biography about my life. Sister B. Starborn. 
written by Andromeda Kepler. It already sounds like a science legendary hit. All right, here. If you're looking for company, I'd be happy to bring you along. You know, just in case you may want to jot some notes down about me and my starborn godly powers. Would you? I've never worked on a crew before, but the idea does appeal to me. The older I get, the lonelier the void seems. Are you willing to pay? I dislike taking money from friends, but I'll need some credits to stow my ship at Sidonia Spaceport. I'll work to make it up to you, naturally. <laughs> She's gonna work to make it up to us! Already a great crewmate! Uh... Okay, here, let's ask her about her skills. I know a lot about starship maintenance, and I'm skilled at constructing outposts. I have plenty of piloting experience, too. <laughs> I also think I'm a decent conversation partner. I have think some so. value on long trips through deep space. I agree. I wonder if she's got... Okay, we're just taking her along. We're gonna pay her. Let's go. Then we have an accord. Yes, we do. Thank you for the offer. I don't, I don't mind paying a... a you know, good money for a follower with a great attitude. Looks like she's going to be helpful, right? It's going to be a good conversationalist. And she's probably going to take notes on my life. I already love her. Uh, is there room for her in the ship? God dang it. Okay, we got to move somebody off. To, uh, now we want to keep... Uh, okay, let's see. We got to put her somewhere. And then we'll just ask her to follow us. And uh, I think I have uh, Mar 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 Martika. I just forget how to pronounce your name. Okay, let's put her here. And then we'll just have a follow -up. I need to speak to someone at the spaceport about stowing my ship. We'll see each other again soon. Sooner than you hey. think. I think that's Hadrian's outfit or like a variety okay. of it. Hello. She's got a, a, unique, you here. a unique outfit as well. Look at her outfit. I want that. Look at it. Wonder it's nice to see you. Okay, let's see if we can trade gear. Need something? Ah, uh, oh wait, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, look it. Ah, uh, yeah. I kind of want her to keep it. I don't want to take it like right off the bow, right? I don't want to do that. Let's keep her outfit on and keep her looking unique. For now, for now, but you can get her outfit too. And this is a unique, what's it say on the front? F oh, by the way, fam, do you know how long I've been playing this game and I had no idea you could do this? Even in character creation, by using your uh, your triggers, I had no clue. FMN, I don't know what that means. She probably told me, but you know, I don't pay attention. Look at these, look at these, look at the, the um, I love the boots, like the area around the boots and the calves. That's pretty dope. Anyway. Okay, I feel like we should give her a weapon, right? Let's give her one of these. What does this take? 11, 11 MMs? Let's give her some 11 MMs. Okay, and then I'll get caught up with the chat. And then uh, we'll take her out. <laughs> we'll take her out. We'll take her out. <laughs> Relax, sister. She's a person. Are you ready? Oh, wait. Let me make sure she's, she's equipped it. Looking for something. I feel like we should get her some hardcore uh, armor too, right? I don't know. Okay, what do we give her? Let's make sure she uses it. She looks like a drum beat. To Can I help you, sir? I hope they fix that too. Like, this is so rude. I'll keep you in my thoughts. Oh, look at how pleasant. Glorious day. Come follow I'll be me. right behind you. See, I think she might understand our starbornness. Fit is dope. All right, let's get out of here, people. I wasn't expecting to play on this head, but that's what we're doing. Or actually, I can just uh, load my other save. I don't know. Can we be bad with her? I kind of don't want to. Is this my Vanguard save? I kind of don't. I kind of don't want to to I'll be able to tell by my ship which save I'm, I'm all confused about my ships now see look 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 Kepler R look at this ship has the same last name as her 
Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? Something's here, people. Can't, okay, yeah, no, this is Vanguard. Okay, we'll do good guy stuff. I don't like to shoot pirates and stuff in this game, but now that I've committed to the Crimson Fleet, but uh, we'll do what we're gonna do here. We'll do what we gotta do. Okay, here, let me let me get caught up with you guys. My apologies. Mark, how's it going with you, fam? It's good to see you here. I hope you guys like- Hey, what's up, Scott? Did somebody say nudie mods? I've been summoned- <laughs> I've got- I came out from the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> God. Hey, what's up, Scott? Came out from like, came out from the darkness and stepped into the light. What? Nudie mods? Yes, yeah, Scott. Are you familiar with Bethesda games at all? Why do you think Bethesda games stay alive for 10 years? People like to be like, oh, you know, it's for the story. No, it's not, fam. It's for the big booby mods and, and booty mods and some people legitimately play like you know for the mods mods like me like me i do get the booty mods and stuff but that's because I, I like you know what you know what i think that's probably why i'm always so like why aren't my characters more curvy because i'm used to bethesda games where i could pick my own body and so when i get into games like starfield and they give you weird bodies and man backs or like in gta when the clothes and stuff fit weird I, i'm always like this is i mean i don't like this I guess probably because I'm Bethesda spoiled, where you could pick whatever body you want. You know what I mean? <laughs> e okay, what? Save. I think I have her on the save, but I don't want to. I don't want to chase around for her. Okay, we'll just. Uh, I was gonna do pirate stuff, but let's have her follow us for a while. See what she's talking about. See what she's talking about. Maybe I'll give her my oh. Xeno armor too. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I know you, fam. People in Sidonia are friendly. This turned out to be one of my favorite cities. Huh? Uh, so, what do you need? Let me give her. Let me give her some. Uh, let me give her good armor here. I'm gonna give her this. Boy, shot. Give her a good helmet. Boom. Oh, we can see her kind face. Oh, wait, let me make her put it on. Sorry, fam. Buttons. Buttons. Do you need something out of my bag? Okay, relax. Put that on. Put that on. All right, she's going to look cool. All right, we got her. We got her. Farting is such sweet sorrow, as they say. She's nice. Sounds like she said farting is such sweet sorrow, though. But that's okay. She's new. I'm running 100 plus mods at the moment, mostly ship and outpost stuff, but few gameplay and uh, quality of life stuff. Okay, so Mark, what do you think? What, like, how does it change the game, right? Because I could tell people, you know, what I think, but you've got 100 plus mods. I've got a, <laughs> I put like, I don't know, maybe 70 mods on, on my game. And... I was getting 60 FPS, but you know, I had to turn the uh, the crowd way down or the NPCs way down. I don't know why I always run. Sometimes I get too carried away with immersion. Yeah, you look in your uh, armor there, uh, Miss Kepler. Ms. Kepler. I feel like that's what I should call her, right? Ms. Kepler? All right, let's get to the ship. It's on. It's. Uh, uh, what, what's her first name? What's her first name, fam? What do you What do you think of the mods? Did you Do you have that mod that Andromeda, like the, like the, like the, like the galaxy? Some's here, people. I'm telling you. I don't know. I I don't know why I always uh, do things the difficult way, just for immersion. Atlas says, I was hoping to move to the Washington state and another group home, but my mom wants to hire a lawyer from Minnesota where I'm at to get the paperwork in order to move to the Washington, to Washington state. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Good luck, Atlas. 
Good luck with that. Okay, so Mark says it, it sounds like somebody's walking on my roof. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's somebody walking on my roof. Sometimes our maintenance guys walk on my roof. It's hilarious. Freaks me out. Okay. Uh, okay, so Mark says. Okay, so you're not looking at the back of my head this whole time. Mark says it makes it a complete different playthrough, especially the level mods that level up the enemies as you level up, right? There's all kinds of ways to uh, to tweak uh, tweak the game. Like if you think the enemies are too easy, there are mods that like have them level up with you. There's all kinds of stuff. That's that's the whole that's the whole premise of a Bethesda game is to make your own game that's why i don't get the people who are all upset about the story not being entertaining and the game being boring of course it's naked you don't have all your stuff in it <laughs> right is it just me oh yeah somebody's definitely on my roof okay stop i don't know if you guys can even hear that probably not it's just more, more thudding uh but but you know what i mean like the game put your own stuff on it that's the point of bethesda games i don't understand what people don't why is that so hard to understand okay here where do we go to get uh, good guy missions i want to i want to test out my starborn powers because that's what we were doing right but i want to make money at the same time okay don't be greedy uh, here's what we'll do okay now they're running across the roof all right now they're running <laughs> that's so weird okay here we go Destroy, uh, let's, see, let's pick one. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff here already. Celebri. I feel like we should get a, a starborn power while we're at it, right? Power from beyond. All right, let's go someplace where we can get a starborn power and uh, crack some skulls in like a base or something because I want to I want to use some of my starborn powers today Some I've never actually used like parallel self. I want to see what that's about We'll check out parallel self. I'm gonna use that one. Oh, We gotta go to Strix. That's right. We'll go to Strix mark oh, Let's see what class we got here people Eh. Fly, my middies, oh fly. It ain't nothing good on this. Not worth the bounty. I only found a C class once. We'll, we'll let him be. Fly. We'll let him be. Just a B class. <laughs> Can we go into Strix? Which planet? Oh, you know what? Let's get let's get the uh, let's uh, let me know what, what planet it is. Let me know what planet it is. And uh, in the meantime, we'll grab this power here. Parallel self will bring another you from a different universe to fight alongside you for a short time. I think I like used it once that after I came out of the temple. It's like, oh, look at that. There's me, but I've never used it. How are you? I, I, I'm good. Thank you. And nice people on my ship. I'm, I'm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. I used it like when I came out of the temple and then I was like, ah. Oh. Here. Let's, see, let's try it. What did, what did I say it was at? Level three? Good day, Captain. Look at this place. It's like a winter wonderland. I'm going to spend my Christmases here. What's this place? Oh, she's probably going to write about my... My... What do you call it? I'm getting my power. Write this down! Andromeda, write this down. This is going to be awesome. Make sure to take... I mean, I'm just suggesting. Okay, I'm not saying you have to. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Parallel self, right? I think, let me press the right button. Okay, we're gonna slot it. Slot it. Parallel 
parallel self. See, these are my favorites. I use these all the time, but I gotta mix it up. Phase time, of course, that's a staple. Settler space is fun to freeze things. Okay, here, let's put it there. All right, let's try that. All right, boy, good shot. That's simply astounding. Hey, me. Okay, obviously doesn't. Uh, my parallel me doesn't respond to weapon additions or weapon addition weapon action you know what i'm saying let's see how long it follows me i guess what is it the uh the level of your parallel self is how long your parallel self will follow you there's a power called something with moon. I don't understand what that can be used for. It's like a, it's like a, 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 a shield, I guess. Makes you impenetrable. But the only, hey, where are we going? Oh, the only downfall is that you can't move when you have that on. So like if you were getting overwhelmed or like with a bunch of NPCs, you would, here, look, I'll show you. I can use two powers at once. Let's test them all out, because there are a lot of them I haven't, uh, we'll talk about it, because I didn't, like, I was like, what is it, what the gravity one for, the um, earthbound or whatever, where it gives you gravity? I'm like, what What would you use that for? I never even thought about it until uh, a viewer was like, oh, you use, what was that? Um. They were like, oh, you use that when you board ships and there's no gravity. I was like, oh, uh, duh. So you use it when you're stealing ships, you, you know, use your gravity. Oh, wait. Oh, that was me. Okay, so that's how long it lasts. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good amount of time, but I don't think you really need that in this game because, I don't know, if you're good with your starborn powers, uh, I don't know. I feel like, like you guys said, like they need to level it, you know, so it's, it's harder. Even on the hard difficulty, I feel like it could be, you know, different. Okay, let's use moon form. Here, let's just go through them. Shoot, why not? Let's see what we got here. What we say, moon form? I don't know. Okay, moon form. Channel the energy of Luna, Earth's beautiful moon, to be as unmoving and resilient as stone. So I think it makes you impenetrable, but I don't know if you could still shoot at the same time. So let's test it out. Boy, good shot. Okay, so you could still shoot, but you can't move forward or move backwards, but I'm guessing you could take a lot of uh, damage like this but I can't walk or, or do anything until this wears off, which probably isn't, I don't know. If you, if you don't have any control over how long it lasts, I don't know how good that is, unless you know you're gonna be posted up for a bit, but you can still aim and everything. I don't know, anybody use this in any particular situations? Uh, anybody like let me know what you guys use your powers for because I'm interested in the, in the learning uh, how to use it Louis says what's up tombs little cyberpunk reference Louise you, you uh you still playing on cyberpunk I never finished the uh the DLC hey what's up will spinny says b booty looks good uh Wait, B booty looks good. That sis. Wait, what about booties? <laughs> well, just says, hey, hey, I'll sorry that I'm late. I don't get notifications for some reason. It's all good. You're here now, Will. It's all that matters. So, I hear that happens quite a bit. Uh, not just on my channel, but just in general. It's, you know, it's a YouTube machine. Sometimes uh, it takes a minute to get the ball, all the, the wheels rolling, I guess. You don't have you don't have any uh, nude anime artwork mods though. Uh huh. <laughs> There's a mod fam that turns all of the all the magazines in the game. You know the magazines you find to get perks. It turns them into like like 
that like playboy looking covers you know <laughs> what what are those always the mods that people make first <laughs> But like pinup girls are on them, so you're sure to see them to see them when they're laying around. Uh, they even have loading screens that are like space pinup girls, so you can switch out. So uh, there's probably going to be some people not complaining about the loadout screens. <laughs> Throw some pinups in there, you'll be all right. All right, Temple Lambda. Anybody know what power this one is? The temple name and the power, the power you get from it is always going to be the same. So this Lambda temple is always going to have whatever power is in here is always going to be in a Lambda temple. I think we probably get to remember which one is which after a while. Southeast Strix 1. Okay, got it. Strix, Strix I mean Strix 1. We'll go there. Mark says parallel self will bring another you from a different universe to fight alongside you. I think I've read that. Mark says I did it with Barrett and had to suffer, <laughs> suffer two of him. <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question about that too. If you have Barrett as a companion, because I have not traveled with him at all, does he? Will he do parallel self on his own? Like, will he activate that power on his own? Magazines are smutty. Pictures are art. I, I I feel you, Mark. Art. I agree. There's a difference. There, pin up can be art. Uh, uh, there are, there's all kinds of everybody's. It's all about your interpretation, Mark. No no judgment. No judgment. <laughs> actually, actually, like seriously, the the images on those ma on that magazine um, for the magazines and the loading screens, they're pretty cool, actually. You've probably seen some of them because I've seen some people who make Starfield content use them as their thumbnails of the uh, spacey looking girls with the with the buxom spacey looking girls. I'm sure you guys have seen those Starfield thumbnails. That comes from that mod. I think it's just like space art just added to the game, you know what I mean? Oh no, she's coming with me. I hate that. Let me get my rewrite. I need to be able to see my body. Okay, hopefully she just stands at the door. Don't come in here, lady. This isn't for the regulars. This is for the starborns. For the godlies. For the space gods. Let me concentrate people so I don't miss any. I always talk about how I get these done so quick and then I always miss them. Fake me out, fake me out. They always fake you out with that third one, I think. I think it's the third one they give you the fake out one. Oh, fake me out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's see what we got here, fam. I should have Kepler with, oh no, she's in here. Write this down, Kepler. Write it down! Oh yeah, that's going in the book. This is going in the book! This is going in the book, fam. Now you guys see why my eyes are burned out. Okay, what we get? 200 XP. Oh, our eternal harvest is up! Sweet. Prepare yourself for the Starborn. They haven't been showing up lately. Usually they show up to try to kill me, but no? No? Finally afraid of me, huh? Ha! <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, so we leveled up our Eternal Harvest, which is dope. Uh, Eternal Harvest basically lets you, um, what do you call it? Take, harvest, re-harvest things over and over again. Reharvest things over and over again. Where is it? Where is it? All right, all right. Let's equip it and go harvest. Keep an eye out for the Starborn, though. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't come after you once you have all of the pieces. 
Maybe they just giving up. They're never gonna get their ass beat. That's what I think. They're gonna get their asses beat. That's what that's what that that's what that is. Let's go find something to harvest. I don't know if this is the, the proper Oh, let's just go to Strix. Hey! Uh hey, what's up, Savage? Will says I think the NG plus is more fun than I thought it would be. That's what I kept saying to people, like, wait until you get all your stuff. People want to hop into the game and just automatically be an expert and have all the stuff. And if they don't have all the stuff or they can't buy all the stuff, then the game is boring. Like, <laughs> that's not how Bethesda games work. I mean, you know, for the mods and stuff. And if you're on PC, you can console command. But if you're on console, like, you got to work for your stuff in the game. You don't, you're just not automatically an expert takes time to be a space god it's just, okay we are on the wrong planet people andromeda you got any suggestions let's, let's try to talk to her she's anything Good day, new. captain do you mind if i ask you some personal questions yes. you can ask me anything let's ask her well, tell us about your life certainly what would you like to know all right let's ask her some questions let's Let's get to know uh, Andromeda. Uh, what kind of scholar are you? No, where are you from? Let's ask her that first. Uh, <laughs> nowhere you've heard of. My mothers were Listers. They raised me on a small planet in the Narian system. We called it Avalon. Her mothers. Who else has fathers? Uh, Eric von Price. I wonder, I wonder if some people had an issue with that too. Like that's a lot in this game, right? I know people take issue with that. I personally don't, but I wonder if people took issue with that. Cause that's like the second NPC that has like mothers or fathers. Like again, I have no issue with that at all, but I feel like a lot of stuff that's been injected unnecessarily into things. Do you know what I mean? Like think about it in your real life. Like how many people do you know that have two mothers or two fathers you know we probably know one each of us right maybe one or two but in the game there's like half, of, half of the myself, npcs which is right fine which is fine. To take care i'm not saying anything about look that's totally fine but i feel like i feel like maybe maybe bethesda tried to be a little bit too woke and i almost feel like that that's going to be a phase I almost feel like it's not aging well. I don't know. I don't want to get too controversial about that because I hate talking about stuff like that. But I feel like that's there was a lot of that. There's a lot of that in, uh, you know, in a lot of the stuff that we consume. And sometimes we just want to, you know, play a game or watch a movie. You know what I mean? Like, I watched all of Star Trek uh discovery right everybody was saying it was not good or it wasn't good or you know the first season i think wasn't that great and it wasn't really star trek and it was a little oh, i keep saying track star Lost trek thought, hmm? hang on hang on Andromeda. i understand uh so i watched it like i got through the first season and then i actually really started to like uh star trek St discovery like i binge watched it i thought it was so good after i understood what was going on and you know what was happening i didn't like star trek being military you know what i mean like that's not really my vibe because you know i'm all about the diplomacy it's so weird i've got like several different space personas i don't know i don't know anyway i watched the whole thing and at the very last episode and i'm not going to spoil it or whatever uh and for those of you who watch you know the whole if you're trekkies the very last episode like the last 10 minutes of that uh, of the last episode of Star Trek Discovery, I was bawling. I this was like, may yeah, not be the best time to take a this break. This is so beautiful. What a beautiful moment. Like, I was like, so like, just like, yeah, you know, one of those moments. And then the last five minutes, I'm like, oh, why'd you make this political? Like, it totally ruined the whole ending for me. So I don't want to bring it up. Like, who, like, what made it political? But I was like, oh, why'd you do that? Let me just say, somebody who was running for governor was in it. And I was like, I don't want to see this. I'm cheering for the diplomacy and coming together. And why? So I wonder I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be political or anything. I'm not trying to bring up anything like that. But I wonder if this, like, time, for your thoughts, Captain. time in the world will 
uh, where it was a thing and it still may be, it just could be me. But I feel like it's not gonna age well, and I feel like it, 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 like this game came out right at the time where this wasn't aging well, starting to age well with people in America. In America, I don't know where everybody else is, but I feel like this whole era is coming to a close, and people are just kind of accepting people like it shouldn't be an issue at all anymore. So why do we keep inserting it? Like we know right everybody should be cool with everybody depending on whatever they do with their lives everybody should be cool with everybody like it's not an issue like why are you inserting it where it doesn't need to be inserted i, I don't know. was enjoying our journey we should get back to it i don't know hey what's up todd okay here let me stop talking so much you guys are like are you gonna use your starborn powers i will i will i will here let me scroll up what were we talking about? Mark was talking about no no anime nude mods. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say that again, Mark. <laughs> uh, okay, we did the moon thing. Uh, let me see. Stone statue? That's what they should call it. A bit strange in my opinion, says Will. Made of moon dust. Mark says magazines are smutty pictures. Uh, uh, magazines are smutty. Pictures are art. I think I read that. Why am I keep reading that stuff again? This is trying to be a family show. Will says, I think NG Plus thoughts, is Captain. more fun than I thought it would be. I like the new dialogue options and that you can skip so many missions if you play the story again. And that's why I say I don't know why people put so much stock in the story, but that's literally when you NG Plus, like the first when you load into the lodge again, it literally asks you, do you want to play the story again or, or do you just want to get on like doing your own thing? Basically is what it says when you talk to Sarah and you're like, I, I don't want to play this. Just give me the artifacts. I want to move on. And the game just gives you the artifacts or you can just talk to Vlad and find out where they are and skip everybody. Not do any of it. And that's like that on purpose. Like because Bethesda knows that most people just play the story, f figure out what's going on, and then they want to go off on their own this and may not be the do best their own time thing. To take a break. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. They, they know people want to go off and do their own thing. That's why they give the option to just skip the whole story, grab the artifacts, tell them who you are, have them leave you alone, and go do your own thing. Kind of like what I'm doing. Kind of doing now, so... Um, Barrett was the reason I started playing NG plus solo so many times I wanted to push him <laughs> out of airlock. <laughs> no, Barrett, I don't want any alien pot, right? He's always like, I got to tell you something important. No, I really have something important for you. It's really important. No, I really got to talk to you. And you're like, what? He's like, here's half an eaten sandwich. <laughs> I just keep him I on my ship. I was shoe. enjoying our journey. We should get back to it. I never, I never talk to him. I never take him out. He just, he's just on the ship, and he can get mad all he wants. In fact, he's like the only constellation person I keep on my ship, so I can do whatever I want without people getting mad. And he's not gonna do anything. He can't leave the ship, so he just. It'll just say he's angry at you. And by the time I ever talk to him again, he's like way over it. So. Savage says, I, I ate a Dusty, so I left a like, right? Don't be a Dusty. Thank you for reminding me, by the way. Don't be a Dusty. Hit that like button. Savage knows what's up. <laughs> Savage, are you going to play Helldivers with us on Sunday? Man, I had such a good time. Spinny says, looking forward to Friday, sis. I'm it's your 49th. Thought, we'll be playing all I day understand. till you're on the screen. Right on, Spinny. I'll be, I'll be there, fam. I'll be there. I'll be there to say, wait, your birthday? I'll sing happy birthday. <laughs> Scott says, if a dragonborn is a Dovahkiin, is a starborn a Novahkiin? Think about it. Scott dropping deep facts right now, people. Okay, here. L let me, let me, let me talk to her because she's, all right. Let's have her talk about Listers. LIST is an acronym. It's short for League of Independent Settlers. A it's lister. a term for homesteaders who strike out on their own rather than settling in a city. I've met plenty on my travels. They always have remarkable stories to share. So we pretty much just signed up to an organization to just explore the stars and find new land and then get what we need out of it first and then tell people, I, I mean, 
find these new planets and uh, tell people where they are. And uh, she's going to be writing about it. This seems awesome. Uh, will you tell me about your mothers? All right, let's listen to it. Let's listen to it. Remembering them always makes me smile. Their names were Brenda and Lynette, and they were travelers like me. They met by chance at the Demo Star Yard and fell in love at first sight. They abandoned their career shortly after to join List and travel together. After they'd established a homestead on Avalon, they traveled to New Atlantis to adopt me. Alright. Which is fine! I'm not making a thing out of it! I'm just saying, it seems very trendy. That's the word I'm looking for, trendy. Okay, here. Let me give you an example. I was watching Star Trek Discovery, right? What's that guy's name? He was like the second in command. The dude that had the, the strange legs. Was it him? I can't remember. One of the species was like mated with both sexes or something like that, or they were same sex or, or, or something. And the character had to announce it like, you know, this is what my species does and like made a thing of it but i'm thinking like this is star trek like they're, they're supposed I'm to be a daydreamer way myself, past this. but right now we have things to take care like, of you shouldn't even have to say that like it's not a thing it doesn't it's not it doesn't need to be a thing that needs to be accepted like they're way in the future like star trek has gone way past that and i felt like if you're a true trekkie it just seemed like forced because no crap nobody cares it's not nobody's going to treat you differently like it, but i feel like i almost feel like some of the people who wrote star trek didn't really watch it you know what i'm saying i don't know that's just me like who cares it's star trek nobody cares about that stuff we just all want to live in peace why is this a thing why are you even bringing this up like that was an earth thing hundreds of years ago <laughs> nobody cares Lost all the, all the aliens and species we've seen, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Hey, what's up, Pat Man? Man, we've been we've been holding up Miss Kepler. Okay, look. Here. I have, and I'm grateful for it. To live an explorer's life has been an extraordinary privilege. I'll have more than enough interesting stories to tell in my book. Yeah, you can't you can skip the missions even if you want to play the story again. See, that's what I did in this playthrough, which oh, I could just ah oh. I skipped the part where I got the recipe for the uh, battery for Kaiser. I just skipped the dialogue with the guy at one of a kind, which I wish I hadn't have done. The microcell battery recipe is worth like twelve thousand dollars fam i think that's like one of the most expensive items that you can manufacture and i, I can't make it now because i didn't get the recipe from the guy he's my starboard Penny for your thoughts, Captain. and i skipped it and i skipped it and so now i don't have the recipe so when you do that mission the terramorph mission with uh, hadrian don't skip don't use your starboard if you're ng plus like do all the dialogue with that guy at the shop and make sure you get that recipe I won't have it until I do another playthrough. Damn it, I wish I had it done that. Okay, uh, why did you leave Avalon? I left to begin my studies. It seemed to me like the Star Sea was the most reasonable place to find answers about the universe and the divine. Leaving was a difficult decision, but I don't regret it. I found no shortage of material for my book out here in the space lanes. By the way, fam, uh, we hit... Don't get lost out there. I'll be fine. We hit 2,000 subscribers, by the way. <laughs> I, I I don't know why I didn't mention this. Fam, we hit 2,000 subscribers. Which is totally dope. I woke up to it. Uh, I think yesterday morning? And uh, when you're a content creator and you hit like... Um, like a K mark, you know what I mean? Like 1K, 2K, something like that. You really don't really count it until you're over it. Cause you know, sometimes they'll post a video and people will unsubscribe. Either they're not into the game anymore or they're not into you anymore. Uh, and so they'll unsubscribe. They're like, oh, I don't want to subscribe to her channel anymore. She's whack. <laughs> and, uh, so, but we made it over like I feel comfortable to announce it because I like to announce it and then like someone's like, ah, nah, it's <laughs> 2k which uh, my other channel I made it to 2k I think uh, last year 
but this one was my first channel so it's special to me like it means a lot so thank you for everybody who stuck around even when i even when i posted um uh it was interesting because i played uh hell divers on my gta channel and people unsubscribed uh but when i post when i played in a posted okay those are my ankles when i played it uh on this channel uh people subscribed so i i, I don't know i think it's a vibe i think it's a vibe and um and i love space games it's kind of my hobby like i love space so it's very exciting for me that uh this channel in particular which is my older you know oldest channel i, I started this channel playing actually i started this channel playing imperion galactic survival you guys are like what game system <laughs> the space game i i start i played like i did a few episodes of that like year like 2016 maybe stopped doing it for a while I think that was like before it was like a, a really a like thing 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 to do let's use, let's use another power i made a few videos and uh no, i just didn't pay attention to it for a while precognition this one i've never used been time and glimpse the future seeing the path someone will walk and the words they may say what does that even mean Gravity wave emitted gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. See, I never use that one. That one I've used. Creator's peace. This one I have never used. I guess this makes people uh, stop fighting. And then reactive shield. That's only a level two. Let's see, what gravity wave does. Look out, Miss Kepler. This might hurt a little bit. I always use gravity well. Is she around? Okay, no, we're good. Boy, get shot! Huh. Maybe it's better in action. Boy, get shot! I think it pushes things. Let's try it on her. Boy, get shot! <laughs> Start! Okay, no, she doesn't. She doesn't aggro. All right, let's use our stuff on her. All right, so I guess it propels people. All right, I'm out of starboard juice. Let's see what else we got. We'll use Miss Kepler here as a uh, as a, as a guinea pig. Let me see what else we got. Gravity well, that one. Creator's peace, earthbound. See, none of the stuff I can use on her though. Life forced. Life force. I don't think that'll work on her. Moon form. Ooh, supernova. I don't use this one that much either. All right. Ah, come on. I'm out of juice too. I'm in G plus eleven. I guess you don't get more juice. Let me use the essence. I, I'll I'll uh, use my powers off of the the essence of other fallen starborn blanket shot that hurt. okay did it really hurt yeah. all right all right she took it like a champ yeah. all right what else we got kind of blew her face back there a little bit i don't know if that's a giggity that sounds weird it uh life forced there he's uh i think that takes their life and you boy get shot yes give me your essence all of it give me your essence she's like why am i traveling with you <laughs> can somebody get me out of here please <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see alien reanimation parallel self void form that makes me invisible supernova we just did solar flare that one we just got i think they fixed the crit hits on this Boy, good shot! Miraculous power. 157 damage that's not bad headshot hey okay 
All right, Miss Kepler, I'm so <coughs> sorry. Sorry, Miss Kepler. At least she doesn't aggro, aggro on you. She thinks about it, though. You see how she gets up with her fist balled? <laughs> okay, let's go to Strix. Stop messing around. Would you say Strix? Strix one? Let's crack some skulls. I think Strix is over here, right? Isn't it near, uh... It's over here by... Where's it? Where's it by? It seems like it's like over here in in the uh, in the higher level systems. I know a lot of people talk uh, like like Strix a lot. Where, where where is it, fam? I know it's like one of those those far out planets. I I thought it was by. Where where is it, fam? Such cruelty, Spinny. What? She's fine. <laughs> okay, Will says creator's piece can be fun to use in some cases. That it comes people to okay, we'll use it. We'll go and aggro some BBCs and try to use it. Do a save in case she does aggro. Isn't she chill, Mark? She took a solar flare to the gut, a supernova to the body. Uh what else did we do? Life force to the to the face? She stood there. She took it. She grit her teeth. But she took it. Okay, southeastern. That's what I thought. I thought it was down here in in the rough areas. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of follower you want. I know I don't have a place that's Strix. In the southeast. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. Okay, so I guess the point I was making is I feel like hopefully we'll get an update soon. And I know a lot of people are... Am I too far south? Not telling no more. Just watch the floaty thing thingies. They swarm. Spinny. I like shooting floaty things. Vern's a pretty interesting planet, too. You said southeast. Am I close? Somebody tell me where it is. Strix, Strix, Strix. Archimedes is a pretty cool uh, system as well. Hey, what's this place? Mad what, what's it near, fam? I don't want to have to look it up. But I will if I gotta. Strix is northeast near Rana and Fermi. There's Boar. Oh, I found her. Okay, so it should be over here. There it is. Bam, I found this really cool uh what's the word I'm looking for? Outpost um the outpost with the with the people. Civilian outpost. I'm bored. I'll show it to you. You said Strix one? Ah, uh, here we go. What they got on Strix one? Beryllium, alkanes, copper, aluminum, uranium. Hey, okay. it's got a few of the desirables. Abundant fauna, flora. Okay, this looks like a good spot. Right? Is this the right spot? Is there a mod for that? See? Mark gets it. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, if they, I've always said, man, I wish they was a better way to pull up planets and find them of course there's a mod for that that's what i mean fam I'm telling you can't wait till the creation kit comes out for people this is a spot right this is bat you got anything interesting on here No discoverables. Always make sure you open your scanner. You never know what you might find. All right, let's just go. Let's go shoot some some floaty things. Let's land in the sun so we can see have have some visibility. The uh, and I bet you you know what another thing would be awesome. And I actually saw somebody write an article about this is to be able to get rid of our landing spots on oh, planets. Man. Oh, look at this spot. Like, get rid of our, our landing spots. 
the ones that so like if you land on different spots on the planet you find a spot that you really like you can't ever remember which one is which you know what i mean is this the spot i would love to be able to get rid of my landing areas look at, look at their spiders what are those things oh, i think i've been here before okay okay Am I on the right planet? Not much in the desert. Uh, Will says, can just press alt to get all system names. Really? Okay, I'm guessing you mean we should land someplace that's not like on the desert plains. Where should we land? Someplace, mountains? In the hills. All right, let's find the hills. Sandy desert. Found the mountains. Did you mean the mountains? Probably mountains, right? Sandy desert. It's probably gonna be cold as hell up here. Volcanic. Craters. I'm guessing probably the mountains, right? Albeit. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Only thing I see, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any hills, fam. You must mean, you must mean the mountains. Unless it's over here in the darkness, but I doubt it. it looks like it's just volcanic uh, mountains and uh, deserts. Hills are the best biome in the game. I agree. Oh, I see your mountains, fam. Let's try the mountains. Mountains, volcanic. That's the ocean. Maybe down here by the water? Craters? Am I on the right, uh, am I on the right, uh, on the right planet? All right, we're just gonna land here. I don't see, I don't see the hills. <laughs> Todd, what are those emojis? What are those little mountain tops? Snowy mountain tops? Site is clear. The land is clear. Are you sure it's the right spot? I don't know. I didn't see any hills. Which Strix is it? Maybe we're not on the right Strix. Okay, just avoid the deserts. Oh, yes. This. this weather's uh, not the best. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Hey, what up, Basco? All right, so we're waiting on floaty things. Let me see if there's any plants or anything. In the meantime, I can see what our elemental plants. Damn. Ain't nothing going on on Strix. Are you sure this is the right spot? Oh, here, 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 here. Oh, okay, I've never been here. I've been to the Strix system, just not here. Okay, let's try our elemental pull. What, what did they say this was? What do you get out of this? Ah, it's not gonna tell me now. Here, let's go over here. So we'll see how much of it we have. Toxin. All right, let's, let's drop our... Why is there no toxin in my inventory? That's weird. Maybe I didn't grab it. Okay, I have no toxin in my inventory. So let's see how much this, our new elemental pool will give us or, or um, uh, re-harvest or e eternal harvest. That's what it's called. Okay, so this plant gives toxin. I'll harvest it once. Sap. Oh, it's sap. I should still be under toxin. Okay, whatever. 
so two? What, was it just giving you one before? Maybe it charges faster. Maybe before it was just giving, just giving one. Interesting. What level is that? Four? Five? <laughs> I don't know. You guys have terrible with numbers. Fauna is abundant here, says Spinny. I don't see any floaty things to shoot at. Is the rain keeping them away? More of a fox bat type of gal. As soon as you land, there's like a gazillion of them everywhere. You sure we're in the right spot? I feel like, I feel like, let me see, let me see if there's any other place in here that uh, has any interesting, any abundances. That's where we are. Maybe we didn't wait, maybe it's the weather? See, I want to go look at another spot, but uh, all these planet markers everywhere. Obviously, we can't land there. Is there anything, is there any other good planets in the system? I don't know, Strix isn't turn, it, Strix isn't uh, turned out to be all that I thought it would. Do I need to get down uh, uh, further down here? I didn't even see one living thing. There's not even anything living. I, what, where is all the life? Since there's a lot. Seven. That's a lot. Maybe it could be the weather. Here, let's try to land somewhere else. All right, we'll, we'll try one more spot. Maybe because we're by the yeah, by the by the coast. We'll try the mountains. Sleep. I should have did that to wait, but let's try another biome. We've, we've been to the desert. We've been to wherever that was near the coast, coasty mountains. This might be better. The weather in here sucks. Maybe they don't come out in the rain, Spinny. I haven't seen one live thing. Maybe it needs time to spawn. This might be the perfect time to uh, use one of our powers. Let's try, let's try, uh, what's that one? Sense star stuff? All right, so this, this, this. Let's see, sense star stuff. We'll put this in our, we'll put this in our starborn wheel. I don't think we'll use FaceTime anytime soon. Oh, did you see that lightning? See nothing. This place is pretty pretty drab, Spinny. They hunker down in the rain by rock rock outcrops. Okay, we'll go look for them. Are they flying or are they like laying down somewhere? So far, nothing. Plant looks like something to scan. Oh, I think we just scan this. All right, we'll go over this this hill and see if we see anything. I feel like there was a lot of uh, a lot of those uh, uh, animals hanging out when we landed in the desert. Here, let's try it one more time. That goddamn thing, Spinny. Laying down in the rain, more abundant in sunny, clear skies. 
All right, we'll try one more landing spot. I'm gonna mess up this. Uh, ah! I don't want to put too many landing spots. I guess I, I can wait. Here, let me get on the ship because that's three already on the planet. I may want to come back here and do stuff. I hope they let us, I hope they give us a functionality to where we can uh, delete markers. You know what I mean? That would be dope. Okay, that was supposed to be cool until the until that rock there. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Miss Kepler's with us. She's probably back there taking notes. She's probably back there taking notes. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like it's raining, but where the ship is, it's dry. Look at that. I've never noticed that before. That's an interesting little detail. Huh. Either that or it's a bug. Not either that or it's a bug. <laughs> if it's not, though, that's pretty dope. Get on you, Bethesda. That's a nice little touch. It's interesting. Okay, here, let's go to the cockpit and wait. But I don't I don't know, Spinny. Addy near. By the way, if you guys haven't already, hit the like button. Don't be a dusty. Uh, like, subscribe. Join us here for Starfield and uh, Helldiver Sunday. Duckfoot, you gonna come back and play on Sunday? Anybody know what the... Anybody f uh, that plays GTA in the chat, what anybody know what the weekly update is yet for tomorrow? I usually stream what, uh, whatever the weekly update is. We kind of do it in the stream. But hopefully it's not nothing whack. Hopefully it's not nothing. Okay, what is with my English? Okay, here we go. Mark says sometimes you can delete a marker by placing an outpost beacon down, then delete it. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, wait, wait. That's a good idea. I've never tried that. Okay, sometimes you can delete a marker by placing an outpost be- Yo, Spinny, this this plan has turned out to be a bust, fam. Okay, one more- one, I'll, I'll wait, one more daylight. Okay, sometimes you can delete a marker by placing an outpost beacon down, then delete it. Marker goes with it. At least it did work a few updates ago. I'll have to try that, Mark. Are you sure this is the right planet? Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it, it says there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of wildlife here, but you'll be happy when you see them. Not fooling you, and was not rainy here when I landed. They always do that to you in a, in a game. You find a place that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, I think it's not raining. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. You always find like a beautiful, tropical, gorgeous. No, oh, it's still raining. I don't see none live out there either, Spinny. Like nothing, no thing is alive out here. There, there's not a single thing. <laughs> I think this planet lied to us. All right, Speedy. I don't. I don't know, fam. Maybe there's a. Let me see if there's a base. Right on. See why I like her. You guys get Marika. She's an awesome companion. Okay, everybody's stuck on the ladder. Let's see if there's anything on here that we can do in the meantime, maybe until it stops raining. I always wonder if like it doesn't look like there's anything. I always wonder if the oh, shaking, bacon? if the, if the raining when you wait doesn't catch like it doesn't catch up. Okay, here let's try it again. Still is it still raining? Hey. Hello again. 
All right, we're going to try this one more time, Spinny. Nope, it's still raining. I don't know, Spinny. I think this is a bust. <laughs> I'll have to come back and visit another time. But Strix 1 has turned out to be... I don't know. Maybe we'll come back later. Maybe we'll come back later. All right, let's see. Uh... We'll quick save here. Let me show you this uh, place on board and maybe they'll... <laughs> I've been trying to use my starborn powers. Okay, here, let me... I want to I'm gonna show you guys. It was so... It was such a cool outpost that I had to save in front of it. I think it's this one. It's on board. Maybe you guys have found it here. I think this is it. If not, we'll just, uh, we'll go to the outpost itself. Oh, cool. A futuristic sci-fi ladder treadmill. <laughs> Companions bugging out. That ladder is one, usually, like, you want one big ladder to, to go through all the floors of your ship. So, this ship has, like, one ladder, but all the co companions get on it at once, and sometimes they'll fall off and scream, or... They'll get stuck in that ladder animation, but um, I don't know. Hopefully they'll they'll fix that. I think they did something with that in the last update, but I'm glad that they're fixing the the bugs in the game first before they put anything new on it. So it's taken a while to fix all of the glitches and bugs and things, but at least they're working on it. And I feel like they fixed a lot of the missions that were broken. Who's this now? Oh, okay. Okay, look. I think this is the place. Whoa. You guys see that Starborn takeoff? Is this the place? Okay, look. This is the place. This is a cool little, uh, this is a, what do you, uh, uh, a NPC outpost? Civilian outpost? We were on board four, five? civilian outpost you guys know i'm terrible with numbers five this planet over here in the boar system there's a civilian outpost if you kind of enter that like dark like steampunky look this this place is look at how big look at huge it's got all kinds of uh Look, look at look at how huge this thing is. It's got like little habs over there. Like a huge landing pad. And it's like a it's like a whole little kind of city. There's a little beacon place over here. I haven't really explored it much, but it's kind of neat. Kind of spread out. I don't know if I've talked to anybody in here yet, but this is a neat little, uh, there's something over there too. It's probably like a base or something, but this is a neat little, uh, neat little civilian outpost. I thought it was like a little mini city. Look at that over there. It's got a whole landing pad and whatever that is. So this is a pretty little dope place. I saved it here. I think I was at my max for outpost, but I thought it was a neat little spot. If you, if you want to come check it out, it's like a whole little industrial city. Some of these, uh, like, NPC outposts are weak sauce, but they look like they know what they're going, what's going on over here. It's like a little helium spot or something. I don't know. I think maybe that's what they're farming over here. Helium. There's a recent mod that lets you build a whole civilian colony. It's pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised. I saw a mod that I actually downloaded it on my PC. You can just download a whole house. He's such a good soldier. He was already in here, dressed and ready to go. Anyway, this is a neat little place. I don't know, I thought it was huge and if you wanted to like mark it on your list of places to stop and check out you're going trekking i can help you're my fifth customer here's what i've got in stock i don't know what she has she's got eight thousand credits look at that eight thousand credits which is not bad 
for which it's really not good at all but it's not bad for like a, a civilian outpost vendor usually they have about five like five thousand credits some some kind of weak sauce like that but all she's selling is a combat knife but it's an interesting little spot and it looks like there's a lot of stuff back here to take for the chat. as well you know what i mean like you want to come here lots of uh cases and things to steal from look at this credits I like to come to these places and, and take their stuff. All these, uh, look at this, credits. 780. Just got to save here. Can I really steal from this? She can't see me? No, come on, fam. You can't see me? I'm a black woman in a black armor. Get ready to steal your safe. You can't see me, fam. <laughs> Talk about woke. <laughs> Let's see if we can steal out of this without her seeing us. Here, let me quick save just in case. All right, let me see. All right, here we go, people. When you get it. Oh, I was talking about list. Sorry for uh, kind of jumping all over the place. If you have your persuasion skills up, that's what you can use your persuasion skills for. Because I think you get like 4,000 credits or something like that for everybody you sign up to list. So that's where your persuasion skills come in. Oh, come on, sister. wasn't that one this one is that the one I just used don't you hate that you forget which one you just used that one and then this one what should be something stupid in here like ammo or something ridiculous some kind of lame assness all right better be something good in here thousand credits all right I'm gonna take it Snatch and grab. I gotta come here more often. I didn't see what I needed back there, but thanks. <laughs> eh, I don't always use my powers for good. Hey, oh, I forgot. Otero was with us. Forgot Manny was with us. He's all good at two shoes. You ain't mad, Manny? He ain't mad. I love having these. See, if that had been Sam Co, he would have been like, put that back, god damn it. You represent Constellation. And Constellation doesn't steal from people. You carry the Constellation name, god damn it. That's what that's what Sam Co would have said. Manny was cool with it. I can dig it okay here let's actually do something <laughs> tis cool spot boar yeah boar has like that particular planet too has like a dark um steampunk gritty kind of atmosphere to it uh, and a lot of people actually look for like, you know, I know paradise planets are kind of the most important ones here. This is what we do during the uh, black screen abyss. W Dusty like and subscribe. A lot of people like paradise planets, you know, most people, you know, that's what most people search for. But there's some people who like specific planets with different by you know different environments like some people like snowy cold planets i never like those planets i don't know maybe i just don't i think they're pretty to look at like the one we landed on all right bethesda let's get this loaded up maybe we need to load up some um what do you call it some art some some photos <laughs> i closed my door and you're still in here all right let's get out of here fam Let's go do something untoward to somebody. Use some of these starborn powers. Nobody can stop the this way. Still getting used to my new crib. 
All right, I'm going to put a spacesuit on this time. I want to use it. I want to use my parallel self. Why am I in this menu? Okay, I just totally had a brain fart. Okay, I want to use my parallel self. All right, enough screwing around. Let's go put these powers to the test. Let's go blow something up or do something. I found another place that was big like this, but full of enemies was really tough to survive. I play very hard. Will, what was it? What system were you in? Oh, look at what a beautiful day. It's the sound of business. I love this. This is my favorite planet. It's my favorite planet. How's my city doing? Gonna get back to decorating it. Oh, and the civilian outpost here, by the way, has a ship builder, which I thought was interesting. The the vendor sells. Whoa, whoa! Holy crap! Oh, it's gonna crap out of me now. Whoever's on my roof sounds like they're dragging a cart. Holy crap! Scared the crap That's my chair, by the way, squeaking. That's not me pooting. What was I saying? Oh, the vendor here has a shipbuilder. Shipbuilder. I don't think you can buy ships here, but uh, if you if you move to Maheo for the DeFalco Island, the civilian outpost on this planet, I I've never found that before. Let's go get sushi and uh, not pay. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mowgli? <laughs> You like diverse weather planets? Me too. I like the different biomes. Okay, so this is the ship, the the um, outpost here. The vendor guy over here, he, which I thought was interesting. I've never run across these customer, customer, why do you keep saying customer? Civilian outposts where the, the vendor. Junk weighing you down? I may be willing to sell medicine, okay. armor, and whatever else passes through. See, look. Can you repair my ship? I'd like to view and modify my ship. Let's see if he has any money. So, I, I don't know if you guys have run into this, but usually I never run into vendors that you can modify your ship. I don't think he has money, he might but... might have some salvage parts we can sell. Take a look. Okay, he's only got five Gs, but... If you move here, uh, let's see what he's got in the shipbuilder. I don't think he has much, though. That's the thing. I don't think he has a lot of stuff. Yeah, he doesn't. He barely has anything. I think they only carry Vanguard stuff. Look at this. Only Vanguard stuff, it seems like. Yep, only Vanguard weapons. But the thing about ship uh, vendors is if you buy things from them, that money will, you know, go into their... I guess bank of or whatever you call it and uh, when you steal ships you can come back and pretty much get the money back it's kind of like trading so it looks like he, it like they only carry Vanguard stuff which is pretty cool I don't know is that is that cheap I don't think it's cheap or anything but actually that seems more expensive doesn't it isn't that like 15,000 why is it saying this is better than what I than what I'm rocking is it better than what I'm Wait a second. This is a C class, max power 12, shield max health 1600, regen 5, 12, 1600, 5%. Uh, maybe this is better. It looks like it gives me a plus 5 to my hull and a plus. Oh, maybe because I have the two together at the same time. Let's see. I'm curious. This is supposed to be the best of the best of the best, sir. You know, with honor. Okay, yeah, no. That's what it was. I had them both here at the same time. I was about to say. Anyway, I thought that was interesting that, that uh, this little... Cus this little... Remember us if you need anything else. Civilian outpost. And it has the, the, the mission boards. I did a mission where I was supposed to transport some of their people to another spot. And uh, I missed doing the mission like i sat and waited somewhere <laughs> and forgot about the mission and now they're on the ship permanently like I, the mission i failed the mission it shows that I, you know the mission failed all that stuff 
but they won't they're not they, they haven't left the ship yet so now i have six passengers i have the hunter on board i have cora on board there's some kind of bug with cora so i have six seven eight extra people on my ship <laughs> due to a bug but it's kind of nice you got the mission boards here and stuff if you want to do missions what i think it's like vanguard Tactical. stuff Anyway, this is, a, this is a neat little uh, outpost. Okay, let's go find something to do. Let's go do a run and try to use our starborn powers. What do we got here? Industrial outposts? What level planet is this? Or system? I think this is... All right, let's go someplace. A little bit of a challenge. Mowgli, how are you doing this fine Wednesday? Where should we go? Let's go someplace. 75. Yeah, let's do that. Archimedes. Let's look for something that's not too... Have I ever... Have I been here? Let's go. Let's look for... Here. Let's go here. Eh. Let's try this one. Okay, here. Oh, you know what? I've never been here. What's this place? Deserted Biotics Lab. Okay, let's go here and then uh, I haven't done this abandoned farm thing. Isn't that a mission? That's a mission of some sorts, isn't it? You can't remember the system, but we'll check before your next stream. Make sure you do. Uh, I love going to these places that you guys find and uh, an explorer. That's pretty dope. There's so there's so much in the game to still, you know, places and things. All right, what do we got here? Civilian outpost. We want biotics or relay station. Let's go to the relay station. Just want to test out some of these um, some of these starborn powers. I want to use this parallel self and see what my parallel self actually does in a combat situation vulture's nest is good too mark says vulture yeah, root oh, vulture's weird. roost what vulture's nest down. vulture's roost i just call it vulture's nest that's where i get all my pool table stuff my pool table accessories <laughs> you get you get a full set of pool table balls there mark says vulture roost on jaffa 4 is a great loot run lots of ecliptic oh you know what we should do that let's run through let's run through here and do that guys i'm all over the place look at this place let's get off the ship I don't know if we're at dusk or at dawn, but whatever we're at. Hello. Look at this place. Oh, right on. Was it sunset? This is gorgeous. Sunset. What's the place? Jaffa. Okay, we'll go to the uh, vulture. Vulture. We've been there before. I think I did that in the stream once. I was looking for pool table balls. <laughs> There's a lot of loot there, though. A lot of loot. Wait, where is this place? Is this it? Well, that looks underwhelming. Swarming maggot maw. place looks hella underwhelming give me something big and juicy one xp that's lame where's the spot hopefully it's behind the ship and it's awesome nothing here looks uh big and exciting giggity all right here Let's go to Jaffa. Good idea. Oh, wait. Is 
That thing. Boom, quick. I think those things aren't, um, what do you call it? Mean? Mean. <laughs> those things are mean. L okay, let's go to... I've been to the abandoned farm. Let's go to Jaffa. I, I want to use my powers, fam. I'm going to tear some stuff up. See, there's this little tab thing here. I wish we could, like, type it in. You know what I mean? I wish we had that mod. That just closes the map when you put your cursor on this little star map. I don't know if you could see it. Probably not. Up here in the corner, you can close the map up there. But... I want to be able to like just type it in or like put it in like have a, a search function, you know, like you just put in the first couple letters of the planet that you want to go to. Vulture's Roost is cool, fam. Mowgli says about a million creds of contraband and high level guns. Let's go. Jaffa, that's like over here. Jaffa is like uh, not that far out. I know it's not like a higher level. Jaffa, 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 Jaffa. I feel like it's anybody. Uh, if anybody can give me like a quick reference of what it's near, I feel like it's Lenara. I like Leviathan too. There's a there's a really like beautiful planet on Leviathan. Anybody know where it's near? There's Masada. We need a search function big time. I feel like it's over near like the west side of the map. Anybody know what it's near? Indium? We need a search function near Olympus. It sounds familiar. I feel like we picked up like a like there's a mission in Jaffa or something. Or maybe I'm thinking of Betty and Heinlein. Jaffa, Jaffa. Ah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Is it earlier game system? What level is it? Bezel. Tear. Okay, I already looked at those. Yeah, they need a search function. Go right from Alpha Centauri. Yeah, I feel like it's early. It's like an early game. It's like an early game planet. Schroeder. I don't think it's that far out. I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry you have to sit through this. I, I, I wish there was a better way. Bernard Star. I feel like it's near what you call it. Uh, where you get... Where you get um, the razor leaf. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's that far down. Anybody know what it's... I know it's east of Alpha. Okay, don't go that far. You said east of Alpha Centauri. Ah, Starfield, fix your map, fam. People don't want to be looking through. Okay, give me, give me, give me. Go ahead. Right anybody, anybody, anybody in the game? I'll look it up if I have to. Do I need to warp closer? That's the other thing. Like sometimes it won't show up because you're not close enough and that sucks too. What am I looking for? About three times the distance uh, uh, of Narion. Okay, there's Narion. I keep looking at those. In between closer to Crix or closer to Cheyenne. I keep looking over there. Still can't find it. Nicola, Lunara. I'm about to give up in like one minute. There it is. God damn it. <laughs> it's right underneath Crix. There it is. Kind of underneath and to the side I guess depending on what angle you're looking at it 
northeast of uh, Parima. Good lord. They hella need a map. Okay. Is this where it is? Yeah, Vulture's Nest. Vulture's Roost. Two, tar it's two, two stars down from Crick's sus. Hi, <laughs> good to see you. Good, good to see you too, fam. Good to see you too. I I love the companions that you can find compared to uh, Constellation. Everybody's just, they're all so, you know what I'm saying? Ready for action, Captain. All right, settle down. Why is that disappearing when I hover over it? All right, let's just stop making things difficult. Not getting my hover. Oh, maybe I haven't been here in this playthrough. Okay, here, let's go. Let's go, fam. Let's go do it to it. I'm gonna use my parallel self. I think uh, Manny is following us. So. Everything checks out. He's down for it. He's down for everything. Sure, I would be happy to chat. Hey fam, make sure- Okay, we are right up on the enemies. They can give us no kind of cover. Like, we are here fam, like right in their face. <laughs> this place is cool though, look at this. Oh fam, don't be dusty, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> look at Lynn. The lady who voice acts Lynn is, um, she's kind of hot. I don't know. Look her up. This Lynn, scary. Voice acting Lynn, hot. This Lynn, scary. Scary. Uh, don't be a dusty. Like and subscribe. I try to stream Starfield on Wednesdays. Wednesdays? Fridays. <laughs> Wednesdays and Fridays. We might be doing uh we might be doing Helldivers Saturdays and Sundays. Look, I'm obsessed with the game. I get it now. I get I get what oh here, let me get let me get okay. Everybody she's totally made everybody feel like they don't want to be a dusty, right? She's so stern. She can run an outpost though. She can run an outpost. But Captain, what can I say? I've, I've I've fallen in Gorgeous. love. I've fallen in love with um with Helldivers, so I might I might even make it. I might even play on Saturdays. I don't know. I like the vibe. Don't get me wrong, I still love GTA, I still love it, but I love the, the camaraderie of, um, of the vibe. Okay, here. It's, it's, it's refreshing, I guess. <laughs> you get kind of used to, like, you know, player versus player, not trusting anybody and all that stuff. And then you play a game where it's like your breath of fresh air with people working together and, you know, not trying to, not trying to grief you, you know what I mean? It's kind of nice. Uh, we're still gonna keep our free phase time, but all right, let's test out parallel self in here. All right, we're just gonna kick it off. Let's see what happens. Oh shit! Sorry, fam. Sorry, fam. That was me messing up the action. I thought I saw enemies out here. Ready to kick it off right away. Oh, there we go. There's me. Go, me. Me, you're not doing a great, you're not doing a great job here, fam. Okay, me, you suck. <laughs> Fake me sucks. Am I still alive? Okay, let me see what I'm doing. Let me see what I'm doing. Did where am I going, me? Let's see what I do. Let's see what I do. Okay, nice. Good shot. Good shot.
That guy's level 76. Am I still around? Okay, so I guess when I'm not, when I don't have my parallel self, you'll hear that sound, like that choking or whatever, like, oh, uh, uh, that's how you know. There's lots of get loot here. I probably won't be as thorough as we, uh, as I normally would. Oh, empty. Ugh, I'm not doing that. You guys know I hate doing that on uh, live stream, but I, I bet there's some good stuff in there. So make sure to check it out. <laughs> Ooh. I always take money. Advance clutching. Don't need it. Paramore. Right. Do I still have me around? Go me. Do it. Oh. Nice. Let's see how much work me will do. Let's see how much work me will do. Come on, me. Where are all the enemies? Where's the. Oh, shit! What happened? What? Did me do that? Oh, maybe me did that. So. When your parallel self goes away, it can ignite explosives. That's not that's not good, fam. Me? I don't know where me is. Ooh, got 115 for that. Personally, can't get to him. Did, was it me that my <laughs> me <laughs> my parallel self that triggered that explosion when they what do you call it despawned? Oh no, there I am. Maybe I shot it. Okay, enemies up here. I could use uh, what do you call it. Since star stuff, so I could find out where they are, but it looks like they're up here. This is a really, this is a really cool spot to come to, uh, like you guys say for loot and stuff. Spinny says you're gonna design a star map poster. That would be awesome. Mowgli said, oh, "Okay, Mowgli with the direction." Am I still here? Oh, there I am. Do it to him. Do it to him! Let's see, can I take out a 76? <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, me could not, did not fare very well against a, a level 76. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. I think he's got like a, he got something. Go on there, there, me. Do it. Come on, you got, you got the best gun in the game. One shot should be all it takes. completely unhelpful. I don't know about parallel self, fam. Where'd you go? All right, I wouldn't depend on parallel self. See that? Three shots, they're all dead. Parallel self, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the gun isn't as strong. All right, let's try something else. Parallel self is whack. Let's see what else we got. Moon form. Let's try a moon form in action. See what that does. I feel like I'm still taking damage. Okay, moon form. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, see, I don't take any damage. I can still shoot, but I'm not taking any damage. Okay. Alright, so I can't move towards the guy, but I feel like uh, Andromeda Kepler right now. I deserve it, right? I deserve it. No damage. So I guess if you're like in the heat of battle and you need like, uh, what do you call it? Okay, now I can go. You tried. You did try. So the moon form could be good, like if you want to post up somewhere, but uh, you can't move around. Just look at all the stuff in here. I like this place. It's, it's juicy. It's a juicy place. Settle, settler casual wear. Lots of containers and things. Oh, key. Sell key. Sounds good to me. There's going to be goodies there, people. All right, let's try another power. Let's do a sin star stuff to see if we can find any more enemies around here. Brain farting moon dust. <laughs> Spinning grenade! <laughs> uh, let me see him. All right, here. What else? We what, what else we want to try? Let's try. Yeah. Oh, life force. I want to use this in action. Life force, and then. Let's try since star stuff so we can find these enemies. Okay. Got a workout room in here and everything. Do we go down there already? Okay, here, let's use some since star stuff. Nobody's here. Duck foot tip the cup twenty. Make sure to go through all of these halves and stuff. I mean, we're not gonna be hella thorough, but got some good stuff in here, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. Okay, what are we gonna use? Uh, let's do a phase time, and then we'll life force them. Get that does. Life force him. Let me get the base time ready. Base time. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh. Damn, damn. Ah. <laughs> wait. 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the. railing okay 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 wait wait wait. let me get a, let me use an essence so we got plenty of energy oh man i can't see nothing oh they got uh what do you call it they, they got those mag shears fam life force them hit him again Get them from every angle. I would suspect that that's probably working on him pretty quickly since we're in phase time. It's probably in slow mo. It's not doing much damage to him though. Only 14. He ain't doing nothing. That ain't doing. 
<laughs> you get a lot of life out of it. Oh, shit. Probably should save here before I get my ass handed to me. All right, get him in the kneecap. You know, he's gonna be standing around Atlantis like, I used to be a soldier like you until I took your life force to the knee. <laughs> Look at, he's glowing, he's glowing. I used to be a soldier like you and then I took your life force to the knee. Oh, he wants to throw grenades. Here, let me quick save just in case I die. <laughs> Alright, what else are we gonna use on him? Let's see what what else we got here. Uh bu 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 Moon form Parallel Self The Void Form? I feel like oh anti-gravity field. Let's try that one. They're rocking out in here, though. I gotta give them that. There we go. There we go. So it's like it's like gravity well, except it doesn't. that one I should use that one more often it's almost like phase time and gravity well at the same time you know what I mean oh here let's go test it out again it's kind of like the matrix you know what I mean I dig that one. It's like FaceTime and Gravity Well mixed together. What was that one? It favor that. Anti-gravity field. That one's pretty dope. See, this is where I this is where I get all my pool table balls. I wish we could get the uh the rack too, but we can't. We need this as a decorating piece. This pool table ball rack, but and the and the and the cues, the pool cues would be nice. But you can get all you can get all your balls here, giggity. They got all the balls. Let's get these credits. Let me press the right button. This place respawns as well. Does this guy have any credits on them? I think there's a magazine over there, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Ah, it's just some cherry something something. Todd says giggity. <laughs> There's a mod for that. Sister in pulverize. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to find interesting ways to use our godly powers. Don't forget you just tipped 20. When, when did that happen? Dogfoot, thank you so much for the super chat or the tip. When did, uh, oh, Dogfoot, thank you so much. Like, I didn't pop up. Did it pop up while I was playing and I didn't see it? <laughs> Dogfoot. Thank you so much, fam. You tipped yesterday, too, by the way. And I uh, I was, like, talking and I, and I didn't thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Dogfoot. Seriously, you keep the lights on around here. Uh, and it helps so much. Thank you for sh uh, showing uh, support for the channel. I really appreciate it. Why didn't the guy... Maybe I don't have it turned up or something? I don't know. Fam, let me know in the chat, too. If you if you subscribe and you're new and and the thing pops up and the, and the guy doesn't say anything... Uh, but thank you so much, Duckfit. You used to love FaceTime, sister? I did, but I feel like FaceTime makes it too easy. Sometimes FaceTime just makes it... 
you know, I want to be a space god, but don't make it that easy. Oh, here's a commandant. Just shoot him in the ass. This plant. I want that. I'm telling you, that's coming in a, in a DLC. They're going to give us all of these pieces eventually, like in the base game. But look at that. I want that plant. Getting everything good on them. Space Adept Mag Pulse. Eh. Don't need it. I got I got business coming in and out of my city. I don't need to uh, trade guns, trading guns anymore. Oh, this place has uh this. By the way, this the the vultures roost have a lot. If you're into pieces and things, I I just remembered this. Thank you for uh, suggesting that we come here, Spinny. Is it Spinny that suggested this? Mowgli says there's at least three hundred and seventy thousand of contraband here. Moon form, sis, says Spinny. That would have been the perfect time to use moon form, right? When I was stuck on the rail and everybody was at me. Hey, what's up, Judas? As we say in Hawaii, how how's it? It's going good, Judas. Now that you're here. <laughs> Spinny says new new phrase for easy sis. Tis putty. <laughs> you gotta go to sleep, Will. Take care of all. Thanks for the stream. Well, thank you for coming to hang out. Good night. Thank you for hanging out. I'll be wrapping this up too, by the way. I gotta get to hell divers. <laughs> I can see why people get addicted. I'm addicted. Ugh. Guys, make sure you come and hang out with us. I might even do a Saturday Helldivers. I don't know. I might even do it tomorrow, depending on what the GTA week is. Duckfoot, do you know what it is? What the week is for GTA? Okay, look. This thing right here. Scroll holder. Look at how fancy that is. You put that on your desk? That's where I'm putting it. Mariner's compass. That's kind of cool. Take a couple of those. Fancy compass. I like these little tchotchkes. You can put them on your desk and stuff. I have like a million of those. Tray. Look at a little, little e-pipe. That's for later. That's for later. Lots of fun stuff here. And uh, like Mowgli says, there's definitely contraband here. Some stuff in there. This is, this is like a looter's paradise. This is one of those outposts that you like... You, you take time and walk through, like go through every inch of it. Cause you're going to find like, like Mowgli said, contraband. I'm sure there's, there's uh, legendaries here. There's plenty of succulents. <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> that just seem like a dad bit risque succulent. I guess if you say it like that, it's going to sound that way, but don't say it like that succulent look at that look at all the stuff in here loot ev the contrabands in there there's some contraband it's a contraband case right there in your face who's landing out there I forgot we're not on my island they must be doing business I think you can steal a ship here too can't you I think you can steal a ship here too. See, they got credits on the table. They, oh, here we go. Contraband, take it. Aurora, take it. A bunch of the stuff scattered everywhere. Did I do this to you, fam? Man, what a way to go out. This is how you want to go out, though, right? Foot kicked up on the poker table, right? Laid down that winning hand best hand of your life beer in your hand that's how you want to go out just like that quick and easy beer in your hand with a winning hand <laughs> that's terrible okay let's look at these people here i just take the ammo look at all this stuff this is this is the uh, starfield designers like dream spot if you want like tchotchkes and things it's this book here Do this to this guy? God dang! I laid waste in here. Oh, 
All right, let's get out of here. Look at this bathroom. Anything crazy in here? No, we're good. Definitely come check this place out on Jaffa. Lots of loot, lots of fun stuff in here. This wouldn't, this actually wouldn't be a bad little, little layer, you know? If, okay, how do I get out of here? This wouldn't be a bad little layer if the ecliptic didn't respawn, but they're gonna respawn here. Respond? Not respond. Respawn. They're gonna respawn here. Get out of here. So, and there's no like ecliptic faction, you know what I mean? Let's go over there. Oh, we got a commandant. We got a big wig over here, people. What do we got? What do we got on the on the wheel? Ain't the gravity field. Let's try to do it in midair. We're space gods, why not? Yeah! <laughs> It worked in midair, fam. I'm a space god. All right, Commandant. Get the shot right. There he is. Let me reload. Don't let me get up. Don't let me get up. Got the same stuff as that other oh no he's got a combat knife why do these guys always have knives it's not a bad weapon but i don't need it they always have like a good epic or rare but it's always something silly like a knife how do you get uh judas says how do you get rid of contraband on the sly you got to go to a planet that that doesn't have uh you see but it's not controlled by like you know like the main planet it's not controlled by the free star collective or whatever uh, i keep all of my contraband like off off one of those worlds and then you could just sell it at uh uh at the wolves at the wolf system you can sell it there um but i'll show you guys a trick once we get off of here I use like the contraband that I have I just use it for display and stuff uh, I have a way like especially if you're a new player the only thing you have to do is get your sneak just put a point in sneak but I'll show you a quick trick on the contraband I, I have it now but I mostly just use it for displays and stuff I don't I don't really need it for the you know to sell it anymore Anyway, this is a cool place. Look at this place. Look at all the things that go through. Let's see if a sunless space will work from this distance. Let's see how. Let's see how. Uh, how far it will travel. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can I get this guy from here? Damn! I missed him. Let me try to hit the railing. Got him! Except he's like sunless space behind the <laughs> behind cover. <laughs> so that doesn't that doesn't help me at all. Let's get these guys. I've got some kind of Lung damage, I guess. I have no juice yet. It's taking way too long to get this juice. I wish there was like a, a more streamlined way to use your powers as well. I completely missed. So. Uh, uh, this some of space isn't that isn't that great from far away unless you can what why is everything oh, weird explosions oh <laughs> ow ow 
<laughs> that was my face. That was my own face. That was my own face. Note to oh. Note to self. There is blowback. <laughs> Why do I feel like my Varun is not like the first couple shots isn't doing any damage? Are you just noticing that or is it just me? Am I the only one noticing that? Okay, let me see. I feel like my first few shots aren't doing anything. See that? Look at that. Nothing. Huh. Do you guys see that or is that just me? Aw, look at him trying. Isn't he cute? Aw, look at you shooting your little shots. All right, you want me to come over there? Whoop some ass. I get it. This is over. No, it's over for you, fam. It's over for you. I wish there was a, a like a better way to streamline your the use of your powers. You know what I mean? Look at him getting the full squat. Get down in there, fam. Get your body in it. Get the full squat! <laughs> he put his whole body in it! Like he was... Oh man. I turned... I released him back into the universe. He put his whole body into it, didn't he? Yeah, this place is huge. Tons of stuff to take. Knickknacks, patty wax, you know, give your dog a bone, all that. Okay, what we're oh, okay. Let me show you a really quick trick before we before we go. I feel like uh, I I feel like out of the okay, parallel self trash, moon form. I see where where you could use it. I see its uses. We went in here already. I could see its uses. Uh. What's the other one? What's the other one that we used? Parallel self is trash. Maybe it's because it's not mine isn't leveled up yet. So that that could be the case. It could be my bad. It's not really like leveled up that high. What's in here? Europium? Okay, why not? It's rare. This place is huge for loot. Guys, make sure you check out this vul uh, vulture's roost. Look at this place. You could spend. You can spend it easily. Mowgli, you come here. How 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 often do you come through here? And this is one of those places where, like I said, it does all of the loot here does respawn. So you could just do a run here. You know, this could be one of your places where you go through, do a loot run, and pick stuff up. Cause you'll know like where to find everything, I think. <laughs> what about teabagging? <laughs> Spinny. Uh oh here I'm gonna show you the country trick. Okay, there's five keys to collect that open up cells for extra loot here, says Spinny. We found one of the keys, so that's what the cell keys are for. So make sure to look for the I mean there's so much stuff. You could go through this 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 place. You could you could I mean if you took your time, you could really spend some decent time here and, and like uh Mowgli says, walk out with like almost a half a mil in credits. Had to bail on Jaffa. The music was too loud. <laughs> well, you I don't you can't even turn it down. I don't think in the game. I don't think you could turn. I don't think you could turn it down in the game because it's part of the uh, the. It's not like separate music. It's like part of the music game. Okay, here. Great looting says Spinny. Yeah, you can just come through and and rerun it. Uh, he be teabagging. Okay, here, let me show you a quick trick. You guys probably always already know this. I have, uh, I have Starfield, uh, professionals, but this is a cool little contraband trick. Here, we'll go to volley. I don't know if, I don't know if we can try a uh, fast travel from here. I think we're outside. Oh, wait, I have contraband on me, don't I? Here, let me drop what I got. Wee! Let me drop what I got. 
gonna keep the sulky though. Come back and use it. Okay, here, let's go to volley. Volley? Vol? Vol 2? Is it Vol 2 or Volley? Some people say Vol 2. Some people say Volley. Volley? I don't know. I'm making way too much of it. Okay. Let's make some money right quick. Volley? It's Volley, right? Volley? I remember when the game first came out, people were pronouncing it Vol 2. Hey, bruh. Okay. All right, when you go to volley, all you need is like one, one point in your like sneak. I, I come, every time I come in volley, like I don't even think I sell guns here anymore, unless I happen to pick them up or they're whatever. But uh, this is the security come in here this uh and by the way when i get arrested like perfect like i don't mind um because i'll bring you here right how you doing sir Be this careful is also if you run into those ecliptic jerks they fly around like they own the settled systems and they like to use old abandoned facilities as outposts you know Do the ones they left know? Over from the colony war hmm. yeah just came from one we came from not honest people either by the way you got to be careful they'll steal from you in a heartbeat that's for sure that's for sure that is for sure thanks for keeping neon safe this is also where i get my outfits for my uh, crew that they're neon security outfits i'll show you where to get those in a minute okay so if you ever get um caught by security this this room by the way wide open wide open you could just walk back in here walk right in here and uh if you ever get uh, like captured or whatever all of your stuff will be in this locker like i got this stolen like well i was i got you know caught by security and then they just put all your stuff in this container you just walk right back here and get it but you need that sneak and then this is always full of contraband I probably uh, haven't had the timer, but this is has probably like 10 contraband in here. And you just take it. As long as up there it says hidden, you see where it says hidden? You just come in here and just take it. And then booyakasha, if you're low on cash, whatever, you have stuff to sell. And then uh, if you want to get uh, the outfits, the security outfits, you just go up here and they're in this locker. I I've been through here already. Like recently but you got like i think there's two security uniforms in here and a couple of helmets and you just steal it right out of there it'll respawn every i think it's 78 48 something like that and uh you can get some pretty good contraband just like that you don't even have to like bring in a load of guns just stop by volley once in a while come into the headquarters come back here take whatever they got they can't see you back here so you can take whatever you want. And this usually has maybe, 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 f I've seen as many as like, like five of each thing in here, maybe 10, 10 things. I don't know, enough, enough that would be the same as if you like came through here with a, with a load full of uh, a doctor. A like doctor. <laughs> armor and stuff right. to sell to the vendors. I would say it's like that kind of money. It's pretty good. Ever wonder how the so if you ever get caught by everywhere. security, it's don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about it because just find where just find where they keep all the stuff and just sneak in and get your stuff back. And you'll probably actually <laughs> you'll probably actually get more stuff, especially in volley. I, I don't I don't think I've been uh, been caught by security in Aquila yet, but I'll have to check their headquarters as well. And usually when I when I take that contraband from the security, I just I just come to my apartment up here and I'll just throw it in here. See? All this stuff I stole out of security. And you can sell this stuff to the trade authority here. They'll buy it. I think is it the trade authority? Yeah. So you can literally just go in there, get your get you some contraband out of those uh what do you call them? Things at the security 
And I just store them in here until I'm ready to sell them. This is my little Aurora operation. Oh, fam. I got stuffed animals to put in my new room. <gasps> Look at all my stuffed animals. I forgot they were here. I knew I had more. Here, we got to drop this off at the pirate lair. Got him. Got him. Anyway, this is where I make all of my Aurora. So I put all of my stimulants and hallucinogens and stuff in here. And then uh, you can buy the Chombas oil here from the vendors, which is what you need to make Aurora. And I just make it all here and sell it all here and everything. Well, like whenever, whenever I come into, like I said, volley, I'll just go in there and then just take the contraband and just bring it in here. As long as you don't leave with it, you're good to go, fam. As long as you don't leave, you're good to go. All right, fam. All right, fam. Since it's a school night, I don't know how long we've been going. Almost three hours. Ah, uh, yeah. I like living. I like living by the club because then you like come out to the beat. You feel cool, right? Feel hip. I think the dancers in there are creepy though, especially that guy in the middle. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> anyway, fam. I think we'll call. We'll call it a. We'll call it a night. I'm gonna party in the in the nightclub a little bit. Then I'll head back to uh, Pirate Island, to Falco Island, and chill out there. <laughs> but anyway, we'll end the stream here. I don't know. I feel like I feel like um, some of these Starborn powers aren't the best, but I really did like uh, which one? Gravity something. Parallel self is garbage. What else? That's about it. All right, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out today, especially on a school night. Uh, we're gonna—I'm gonna check what the uh, what the weekly update is for uh, GT Online, which is on my other channel, which is what I will uh, be streaming tomorrow. If it's good, I hope it's a good week. I haven't checked yet. If it's not good, fam, I might go back to Hell Divers. What am I saying? I'm addicted. I can't help it. Tuck Blake, you gotta play with me too, and you too, uh, Spooky. Okay, well you're Spooky for Hell Divers, but you too, Mark and Jalon and Savage, man, I'm addicted. Did. In fact, that's what I'm going to be doing as soon as I'm done with this stream. I'm going to make a snack. I'm going to hop on the game. <laughs> but hopefully the week is good. I'll see you over on GTA tomorrow. If it's if it's a good week, if not, we might be back over here playing some Hell Divers. What? And then we'll be, be back here on Friday for some more Starfield. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a new update soon for Starfield. A patch, a quality of life. Uh, Maybe the, the, the star map fix, a uh, search function. I'd love to see that. A lot of things, but you know, as we the more we play the game, the older the game gets, the more we see what we need in the creation kits and the mods and all that stuff. But I am really looking forward to building my Starfield world. I really am. I really, really am. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on a school night. It really does mean a lot. Um, time is so precious. And uh, when you guys decide to spend it here with me, uh, with all of us together, uh, I really, really do. It's very, very important. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate all of you guys uh, for being here. Shout out to uh, Dougfoot for being the boss main, uh, uh, supporting the channel. Um, become a member, guys. Like I said, I need to work on getting some new emojis for you guys, especially now since we're, we've are we got Helldivers on the channel, so I got to get some bug emojis. I got to make some more. I was thinking about doing like a, a Todd Howard head. <laughs> I got to get into making some emojis uh, for this channel. So uh, become a member, and then uh, you'll get access to those. And I gotta figure out some more fun stuff to do uh, with members, but uh, shout out to you guys, members, the people, even if you're not a member, even if you just stop in and say hi, uh, just chatting in the chat helps get the channel uh, out there and out to other people and maybe other people who are tired of um, weeding through the I hate Starfield videos and just wanna find a good Starfield video or a community of people who like Starfield. So everything you put in the chat helps. Doesn't always have to be, you know, 
uh the 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 kind of support that chings it could be like a little like on the uh, hit hit the like button or subscribe if you haven't already uh okay thank you guys so much shout out to spinny spinny thank you for being a member as well i really appreciate you shamel you know i love you fam thank you so much for looking out over the chat you're the best man <laughs> Shemel said max pain abilities in space. I'm trying to be a space god. Shemel, thank you so much uh, for carrying that wrench. Um, you know, I appreciate you. Shout out to Judas. Thank you for hanging out with us, uh, Judas. Who else was here? Mowgli, as always, fam. Thank you for hanging out with us, Mowgli. And your tips. Todd, thank you for being a, a member as well. Uh, appreciate you coming out tonight and hanging out with us. Uh, spooky, we'll see you maybe tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know. We're going to see you soon out there. Will, thank you for hanging out with us. Who else? Who else? Did I get everybody? If I didn't, uh, if I missed, uh, Umer? Umer, nice to meet you, by the way. Uh, hopefully you'll come back and we can hang out a little bit more and play some Starfield. Did I say hey to you, Will? Did I say shout out to you and thank you for being here? Thank you, Atlas, for being here as well. Uh, okay, that's it. That's all I got, people. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you next time. And uh, peace, love, and hair grease. Hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. And uh, be good to each other. And I mean that. Peace out.